to the Three Best Friends Podcast. My name is Jacob Palmer, and I'm joined here with my two co-hosts, Matthew Wright. What up? And Mike Toundro. What down? And I think Matt needs to say something. All right. So it happened. <laughs> Fuck everybody. <laughs> Fuck the FCC. Yeah, you know me. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Today is a good day for all of us, especially like gamers, but especially just the U.S. as a whole. Net neutrality repeal was fucking revoked. Prost! Shout out, to, shout out to Mike for yeah, you know me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> great, that was great, <laughs> dude. Seriously, like, uh, that's so. I, I mean, we can continue our podcast. Yeah, for free. Well, hold on. Right. Literally, we only needed one fucking Republican to vote on it. That was it. Yeah. Every yeah. literally every Democrat was voting for it. To mm-hmm. the the repeal, not for. I yeah, mean, they're on our side. The repeal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, awesome. Let's move. We good. All right, guys. We have an exciting main course for you. But don't worry. We're going to give you the damn veggies as well. Huh. <laughs> Come on. Fast five. Yeah. Mike, catch up on your movies. Yeah, Calvin and Hobbes. Yep. <laughs> right? Is that their names? <laughs> yeah, that's exact. You're pretty close. You got the second Wait, one. Wait, that's the cartoon, right? Or the <laughs> children's book? Scott Calvin. <sighs> I name. Oh, Santa Claus. Fun. Continue. (laughs) So this week on the main course, we're going to be discussing being a 90s kid. We're going to dive in and see what TV shows and movies changed our lives. We know there's over 100 movies Mike missed out on during this time frame because he's a horrible human being, but we're going to look past that. So being a 90s kid was probably the best thing about being a human being ever. I don't think there's anything better. (laughs) Now, I am 100 years old, and I can say for a fact, yes, being a 90s kid is. Yes. The best yes. thing ever. So there's like a lot of things that came out of the 90s that I don't think kids today will ever experience like we did. There's just so much, so many things that that were just brought brought about. I don't want to say anything until we like actually discuss it, but I I feel like that was the best time to be a be a kid. I will say this because none of us actually have this in what we're going to talk about. But, uh, yeah, you know what? Uh, we didn't have fucking cell phones and shit at the ready and the internet and yep. hands and stuff. Yeah. Uh, my niece just turned 11, and she got an iPhone 8S for her birthday. Oh, that's crazy. Now, I love my family. Heather, you're cool, but... She's not listening. S- stop. <laughs> stop enabling them. Stop enabling them. <sighs> not gonna move me. These kids, and they want their Fortnite. They get mad when they lose. Jake? We didn't, ha- we didn't have that. We didn't have that. Nope. Nope. Not me. I never get mad at Fortnite. I mean, yeah, we'll we'll talk about it later, but we lived in the... We're the last generation to live in the pre-internet era. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that is... We are. And yeah, I, I mean, I know kids... Like, I have friends who have, like, sons, nieces, nephews, whatever, um, that have fucking iPads in front of their fucking faces at, like, two years old. Yeah. That's insane. Granted, we had, yeah. like, video games and stuff when we were little, but... They weren't glued right next to our face. Yeah. Kind of. I, Short cables. I will say I, I, I was glued. I'm going to start going into this, but I was glued to Batman the Animated Series. Oh, yeah, that, boy. That show, that that actually got me into Batman from the very start. I'm pretty uh, sure that is what that's... got most of people our age. In oh, Batman. yeah. Yeah. Because, I mean, you had the, the Batman 1989 film, which was great and all, but, man, you cannot beat Kevin Conroy as Batman. You what can't beat Mark Campbell. Yep. What year did uh, TAS start? I'm just trying to remember what uh, last actual movie came out. Um, I want to say Returns was the last one that came out because... Uh, 1992. Okay, yeah. So was Returns was the last started. one that came out uh, before the animated series. Yeah. So, yeah, no. So, like, Batman was actually on a good streak at that point because we haven't had right. forever in uh, Batman and Robin yet, but... <laughs> Listen, I I will defend forever just because of how bad it is. But Batman and Robin, you cannot defend. (laughs) (laughs) Man, Game of Thrones. But yeah, the animated series that started my obsession with getting all the action figures of Batman. They had so many of them, so many of them that I can't even remember. There was like ones where it's like. Batman Aquatic, Batman mm-hmm. in Space, Batman this, that. It's just, there were so many of them. Yeah, Team and T, man. Uh, oh, Team and T. <laughs> Fuck. I had a bin oh, yeah. full of those things. Yeah. 
I, I can't remember all the different action figures, but I, I just remember Batman fighting the Ninja Turtles, Batman fighting Superman, like, with action figures. Like, you, you just make up your whole storyline that made no sense. And it's like Batman's, like, working with Spider-Man for some stupid like, reason. <laughs> shout out to action figure battles. Those were a thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. I don't think but, action figures are as good now, quality-wise. They're well, it depends expensive. on, like, if you're spending, like, you well, know, $70 for, like, a Figma. Right. Yeah. Like, those things. Or, yeah. like, a Mondo figure or something but, like, like that. But, mm-hmm. like, the ones that you go to, like, you go to, rest in peace, Toys R Us back in the day. Being a 90s kid, hashtag dead. <laughs> dead. <laughs> Dude, I, so I was at the post office yesterday, and I saw uh, Toys R Us gift cards, and I was like, should I get one? <laughs> just, just to, for like a keepsake like, <laughs> like you should have actually r- uh, brought it up there to see how much it costs because like you're never going to be able to redeem it right I feel like the post office people didn't give a fuck about that <laughs> they're like we gotta, we gotta get rid of these maybe some people will buy dude there was like a, a stack of 50 like $50 oh, ones I was like uh, if these were like 10s sure sure but, but like going through going through like those action figures I feel like those were better quality than action figures you, you would get nowadays, like in that so, price range. So they have um, animated series figures that they just started a new line for, maybe like yeah two years ago. Yeah. Those are like they're not like the high end Mondo no. Figma or anything like that, but they are no, like but quality. They're, they're, action yeah, figures. those are like middle ground. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I wanted to pick up the Nightwing one, but I, I can't mm. stand the stupid like mullet look that he has. From the animated series. Oh, oh yeah, I remember yeah. that mullet. All right, let's everyone does. Let's take this great <laughs> character and let's give him a mullet. People will hate him. <laughs> He's Dick Grayson. Nobody likes him. But that was like that was like one of those times. Also, like I remember playing like Batman and Robin with my cousin. Like he was always Batman because he's the older cousin, and I was Robin. And I was never, <laughs> I was never like happy about it. But the animated series made me love Robin because there's like there's like the scenes and. Where Batman's like, he gets saved by Robin, and Robin's like, hey, thanks for saving my bacon. Hey, no problemo. And Batman's just walking away cold and silent, and Robin's just, you know, being the teenage kid that he is, joking around. And I think that that series brought a light to also the greatest villain of all time. And nobody really knowing it was Mark Hamill. I think that's the greatest thing. Like, you think of farm boy Luke from Star Wars. And you get this crazy, psychotic Joker. Arguably the best Joker. I, yeah. I, I think he is the best Joker. Um, but really, like, shout out to even just the way that show was made. Because nothing has done it uh, before then and since then. They drew it all on black paper. Um, this is still back in the day when, you know, animation was primarily analog. Uh And all these cells and everything were done on black paper instead of white. That's why the show is so <clears throat> dark. Yeah, and it so. Um, do you guys know the comic, or it's like quote unquote comic, uh, Dark Knight, a true Batman story? I've heard of it. It's an autobiography about Paul Dini, uh, who created or one of the main dudes who worked on the animated mm-hmm. series, um, about him and his relationship to these characters that he was writing for, and um, about a night that he got like severely like fucked up in a mugging and like dealing with his like depression and like self-consciousness and stuff. If you're a fan of the animated series, it's a fascinating read. It's a probably one of my favorite quote unquote comics. Hmm. Um, it, it, yeah, highly recommend it. It's fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have to check that out, but I mean, there's, there's not much more I can say on Batman, the animated series. If you haven't seen it, you need to watch it. It, it's honestly the best portrayal of Batman. And then, it even extends into the video games that we got later in life. It's like what we've always wanted as a game. Like we forgot the like later on we or even on the Super Nintendo we had a Batman animated series game, which was it was like a side scroller, I think. Yeah, they all were at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which they were, they were okay, but then you know they were beat 'em ups. Yeah, like every other SNES oh. licensed yeah. game. Mm-hmm. Did, did you guys ever <laughs> play uh, Batman Forever on the Super Nintendo? Yeah, I couldn't get past, like, the first level. <laughs> Thank you. That thing was so bad. Like, you can't even see where you're supposed to grapple up. No. It was... Fuck s- that game. Yeah, that game was oh, trash. Hashtag fuck, that, fuck you, fuck Blockbuster. <laughs> <laughs> the worst graphics in the game. It's like everything shaded in together. It was like, what was it? Like, black and green and, like... Yeah, it's it, like... Purple. Everything was green tinted like it was yeah. an alien game. Yeah. <laughs> To be fair, it probably was. 
It probably was. But the change it was the last probably made minute. by LJN. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that was one of my things as the 90s that I loved. What about you guys? So I'm on a huge fucking Pokemon hype train right now thanks to Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee mm-hmm. possibly being announced probably by the time this posts, hopefully. Why, why Eevee? Because. It's a yellow remake. Your rival had Eevee. Yeah. I know, but. <sighs> yeah. Fuck you. <sighs> Listen, Eevee Fuck is you. amazing. <sighs> Don't you even start. <laughs> Eevee is amazing. No. Shout out to Eevee. Let, uh, yeah. Let's go Charmander. No. We, that's red what? and blue. Yeah, red and blue. Motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bring back the best game. Anyways. <laughs> yellow was the best because you had a following Pokemon. Hashtag wrong. Hashtag shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I talked about this on my um, on our top five games podcast, but Pokemon has always been and still is a massive part of my life, pretty much starting with red and blue. Um, I have a crazy distinct memory of bringing my little slip into Toys R Us, the little reserve thing that I don't even know when they got rid of that. But um, bring that to the counter and then just waiting for those like three months or whatever. I think I got like one of the last ones for red, which I was really stoked about. And when it came out, I remember uh, I just got home or I was on my way home from the doctor's office because I used to suffer from severe uh, earaches or whatever. Uh, so much that I had to put like they had to put tubes in my ears to help with the whatever the pain, which is, you know, ironic for my um, career of choice. So yeah, my mom surprised me by taking me to Toys R Us on the way home from the doctor's office and picking up Red, and then we went to Friendly's, which was my favorite restaurant. Oh, R- you had a Friendly's down there too? Hell yeah. Yes. Um, kind of R.I.P. Yeah. Um, yeah. And going to Friendly's with my Game Boy translucent blue color uh, and just fucking playing for hours in that Friendly's and just being totally enamored with this whole new world that just opened up with my, uh, opened up to me. Um, and that clearly like transitioned to the trading card game and eventually the N64 games and dude, it was just whole fucking mind blowing experience about this fascinating fucking world that I just wanted so badly to be real. Um, and yeah, I just have such fond memories about just bringing my cards to school and like trading with friends or showing off my first edition holographic Charizards. I still have mine. I got So Funny story with mine, um, my original run, I had all of them except for Pidgeotto at that point for some reason. I don't know why that was the one that was missing. Uh, I would not go anywhere without my Pokemon cards. So every, uh, yeah, <laughs> um, every October for Columbus Day weekend, me and my family used to drive up to Lake George, New York, just for a weekend getaway. Um, my father used to, to uh, he used to strap our bags to the roof of the car. Uh, at that point, including mine, and the night we were driving up, it fucking poured, and I get to the hotel room and open up my binder, and everything is soaked. All the cards are like completely destroyed, and I, I totally fucking break down, and I cry, and I'm freaking out because these cards meant a lot to me, and. Mm-hmm. I just didn't know what to fucking do anymore. I, I remember I have a distinct memory of crying in my my dad's arms saying like I have to start over, blah blah blah. And my mom trying to like use her hair dryer to like salvage them. <laughs> and as they slowly peel apart. <laughs> yeah. And I just I kept crying and screaming, like, Oh my god, I have to start over, blah 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 and f- fuck. And that th- and that's so hard to start <laughs> over too. It is. It was a lot of money. Yeah. Like, granted, I, I didn't spend that money, but... <laughs> well, yeah. It, Do you remember the first pack you ever bought? It was a blue Blastoise booster pack. Yeah, I got a be- booster pack. I think it had Venusaur on the front. And yeah, there, there was the three, the three main starters as right. each booster pack. And then Pikachu had one, too? Yeah. I think, I, I no, think eventually? Yeah, there were uh, like either four five. or five different... Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I, I got a Venusaur one, and I opened the pack, and I, you know how they had the way, like, you can choose like two or three cards from the back and then so you had the holographic you know as the very last i never knew that i was just no open right. up the pack and i was like going through i got a holographic raichu in my first pack ever no, six and i was like that was like my forever card i wish i knew yeah. where it was now but i have it like a, i still have a binder of pokemon cards now yeah my binder is up in my attic somewhere i have to try to dig them out yeah um yeah, and then, like, the N64 games also. Like, Pokemon Snap, Pokemon Stadium, and Pokemon Puzzle League I fucking loved. <laughs> and, like, mini shout-out to Hey You Pikachu. I had it. 
it wasn't that great, but I had it. And I remember distinctly with Pokemon Snap, because Matt mentioned Blockbuster earlier, fucking taking your the memory fucking of... Fucking pictures. Yep. yep. Stickers. Hell yeah. <laughs> I, I forgot how it worked. You took your memory card? You, yeah. So you, um, yeah, you would choose what photos you wanted to put on your memory yeah. card. Yeah. Uh, you take that to Blockbuster. You had to have a Pokemon Snap punch card or something. It's card. like a credit card. I still have two of them. Um, I have mine somewhere. That you'd put <laughs> money on, and then you put both of them in the machine, and you choose uh, what photos to print. I had so many of those stupid fucking photos. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I tell you guys something funny? Sure. I never had a Blockbuster in my area. Wow. Yeah. We That's had weird. like a we had a place called Video to Roll. Um, other mom and pop shops that you could rent from, but we never had a blockbuster. It wasn't until like it wasn't until like in the two thousands that we got a blockbuster in our area. Where basically they were gonna die, yeah, a little bit, yeah. But yeah, we never got a blockbuster. Yeah, I had a mom and pop shop down the street from me, but then a blockbuster came in and eventually right. killed it. Yeah. That mom and pop shop, I, I guess, I a quick segue. I had distinct memories of renting games like uh, Gex, Glover, and Iggy's Wrecking Balls over and over again. Matt's favorite game, Gex. Mm. Mike's favorite game, Iggy's Wrecking Balls. Mm. <laughs> so what about um, you, Matt? So that, that kind of segues right into my first one. Um, trips to Blockbuster in general, or um, I guess, Jake, in your case, uh, just video stores. Yeah. Um, video Troll? <laughs> I know, was it Video to Roll or Video Troll? Video to Roll. Okay. Oh, I heard Video Troll. <laughs> Me too. It could be Video Troll. <laughs> like, oh, you think you're running Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> if you go behind these shutters, you're going to see things you should not be seeing. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, just, um, it was either, you know, either, you know, after school or it's Friday, you can rent something for a weekend. Going in there and like, you want to look at everything, like, because you want to make that choice because you already get to choose one. Um same thing with movies like i miss having a place where you could look at all the different box art and stuff for movies like there are movies that i know the box art of that i still haven't seen to this day um one of them that i recently saw eight years ago was go um i think it was a mid-90s movie kind of like in the vein of like um pulp fiction where like it's out of sync like time Mm. events and stuff it's an awesome comedy um but I, like I always saw that um, box art and always walk past it. Uh, same with like Johnny Mnemonic. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just yeah I miss having video stores like that. Like I think there's actually a mom and pop one uh, in the town over, but it's not the same. No. Um, I Alamo Drafthouse is starting to open them up around the country. That's really? awesome. I think the first one opened up in probably Texas. But yeah, I miss that. I don't miss how much it started to cost. Mm. Yeah, because it started to get ridiculous to run a game. It was like six to seven dollars. Yeah, for three nights. For like yeah, three nights or something like that. Yeah. And like this is bullshit. Yeah, and like what classified nights? Like you know, I'm delivering this back in the day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And what the hell is up with the frickin' rewind charge? Oh my god! <laughs> you didn't rewind it. I don't think I've ever had to deal with that. But... Fucking good red and snow. I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, what these kids nowadays are never gonna have to deal with rewinding your rewinding. video. <laughs> yeah, rewinding your tapes. Speaking of like <laughs> box arts, I remember like a movie I never watched was a uh, Jack Frost. Mm. I was like, which killer, was which one? Killer, which was, one? Was it killer, <laughs> was it Killer Jack Frost? Okay, where, the horror one. <laughs> yeah, where it had the um, the holographic one, where it's like it's a nice snowman, and then you look and he's got like sharp teeth and ready to. Kill so him. I'm I'm under the belief that. Uh, Michael Keaton Jack Frost is a prequel to Horror Jack Frost. <laughs> yeah, that's what I yeah. thought, and I always that's wanted been to a see it. Theory. My parents are like, "That's <laughs> yeah. not the same Jack Frost." I'm like, oh. <laughs> "Yeah, I, I believe a woman is uh, raped with an icicle in yep. the Horror Jack Frost." So. Can confirm. Definitely, definitely not the same movie. <laughs> yeah, same movie. I remember Michael Keaton <sighs> doing that. Not, uh, not a feel good. Well, uh, all right, Jake, back to you. All right, <laughs> next one for me is Boy Meets World. I know they tried Boy to bring it back. World. For the kids nowadays with Girl Meets World, but you're not going to get the same life lessons. Fanny! 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 And shout out to Danielle Fischel, Topanga, being like my first crush ever, because it was Topanga. I'm not saying she's not pretty, but what is up with everyone our age thinking she was the hottest thing? I don't think she was the hottest thing at all. I think 
I liked her because she was more down, well, <laughs> down to earth, quotation marks, because she was weird as hell. <laughs> but I, I thought she was, I thought she was cool. She was like, she was weird at times, but I, the relationship her and Corey had, like, that seemed real. That it seemed is. Really weird. It, it is. It is. <laughs> it is real. <laughs> no, that, that's the real relationship. Uh, the fact you can get a relationship with a teacher like Feeney, like, I know you, oh, you would never really get that nowadays but it's like that's the teacher i always wanted and that that's something i've always wanted and then all, all the lessons you would learn through this show was just priceless it's a lot of stuff that you would go through during that time so can i say something really quick You're, you've never seen it no i've seen it i, I okay. was okay. it was just never for me i yeah i couldn't get into it yeah it it's one of those it, like if I go back and watch it now, I I'm, don't really want to watch the first season because he's like just no. Dead. You don't watch like the first three seasons. Anymore. Yeah, you you just go back to like when they're like teenage years and mm-hmm. like college yeah. and all that stuff. And it's still a great show. I I watched yeah. it recently. Uh, I just rewatched it. What was it last year when they finally brought it back to Hulu? Oh yeah, hmm. um, yeah, good times. Yeah, I I still think it's a good show. Like I don't know if, it, if people would like it nowadays, but that was something that. I grew up with and it, it helped with like the bullying and all that stuff. And when mm-hmm. you actually find a friend like Sean in a world like that, it's you don't take it for granted at all. No. So life lessons, people Mike, you got anything else? Uh, shout out to nineties Nicktoons yes. just in general. Yes. <sighs> Fucking rock is my own life. Angry beavers, all real monsters, Rugrats, cat Rugrats. dog. Hey Arnold. Hey Arnold, wild yeah. thornberries. My God. Fuck, man. Even shout out to the Nick Jr. stuff, Blue's Clues, Gullah Gullah Island. Dude, every time you skip school and there's nothing on to watch, like, and you watch Nick Jr. and you feel bad, but at the same time, oh, yeah. those were good shows. My homie Face. Your face, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys watch that uh, show, uh, Little Bill? Hell yeah, Little Bill. Yeah, Little oh, Bill's God, the homie. Little Bill. Yep. Oh, my God. <laughs> the, less we, the less we talk about Bill Cosby, the more it's... <laughs> Dude, fucking... I just coming home from school every day and watching uh, Slime Time Live and then yep. into the Nicktoons and eventually like all the um, the fucking game shows like Figure It Out, Legends of the Hidden Temple, Double Dare. <laughs> I own um, a blue Barracuda shirt. Oh yeah, Nick Arcade. Yep, Nick Arcade. Nick fucking Arcade, yep. man. <sighs> man, what's uh? <laughs> yes. What's your guys' favorite Nicktoon? Oh my god, Rugrats. Uh, I would mm. say Hey Arnold because I actually have Hey Arnold on DVD, but it's <laughs> Rugrats. Yeah, I spent so much time watching that show. It's. I, I think it's up in the air for me. I think it's. Oh shit! We didn't say Doug. Oh shit, Doug. That's, that's what it is. It's it's Rugrats and Doug for me because both of them were just great. I know Fairly Odd Parents came in later. I think they were in the two thousands, right? Yeah, that was in 2000s. that was two thousands. Yeah. That would be my favorite, but we're talking '90s, so yep. Rugrats and Doug are my favorite. Mine too. is Rock Was My Real Life. Yeah, that, that, that is a great one. one. That is a great yeah. one. Going back and watching that and seeing a lot of the crap that they let, <laughs> like Rocco was oh, a that is, phone yeah, sex that's operator. A dirty, that is it. Yeah, that's a dirty show. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm so excited for the revival or whatever it is. The yeah, the movie. I think it's like a movie or something. I oh, that reminds me. I need to watch the Hair Arnold movie. I, yeah, I didn't watch it. Oh no, I haven't watched that either. But yeah, no, just just nine uh, Nicktoons in general, and just Nickelodeon in general is yep. so fucking good in the nineties. And yeah, it, it, no lineup should have been that good. No, it, like, it, it wasn't like a, every single show was good. Yeah, it wasn't a cartoon, but um, salute your shorts. Yeah, oh, only two yeah, seasons. Yeah. Oh my god, fucking Kablam! Yeah, it's Kablam! Kablam! <laughs> Action League now! Action, Action League, League now. now! Oh man! Fucking yes. uh, <laughs> Prometheus and Bob! Yes, Prometheus and Bob! <laughs> Life oh my Luby. god! Oh, God. So good. Nostalgia bomb in my head. <laughs> Camp on a water. We hold you, we in, hold our you in our hearts. And, and when, when we, we think, think about, about you, you, it makes it me want to fart. Barf. <laughs> that was fart. Oh, man. Uh, whatever you want. Of course, man. Are You Afraid of the Dark? Yes. Yes. Are You Afraid of the Dark? Which they're doing um, a movie, apparently. Oh, great. It'll be crap. Is it? Is it Guillermo doing that? Uh, he might or am I be produce- making that up? No, no, no. He's doing um, the scary stories of Tell in Dark. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, I guess we could 
no, nobody wrote it down. So I guess we could piggyback it with uh, Cartoon Network also. I was always more of a Nicktoons person than yeah. Cartoon Network, but shout out to like uh, Courage the Cowardly Dog, Dexter. Mm-hmm. I was trying to remember when those actually came out. Yeah. I, I cannot remember if they was late 90s or early 2000s. I think Courage was early. Yeah, I thought that and Powerpuff Girls were early 2000s. I think Powerpuff Actually, Girls Dexter's might Laboratory have been. started in 1996. Well, oh, Dex- okay. Dexter definitely, yeah, because yeah. um, there was older seasons and then it came back. Um, Out of those, Eddie was definitely two thousand. Yes, that was definitely uh, Recess. Mm-hmm. I think Recess Courage, Courage started in nineteen ninety nine. Oh shit! Yeah, just made the cut up. Johnny Bravo. Yes, Johnny, Johnny Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, that guy could not get a chick. <laughs> no. Fucking oh Scooby Doo. Two stupid dogs. Oh my god! Oh, cow and chicken. Cow and chicken. Cow and chicken. <laughs> Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> <laughs> wait, I wait before I say it. I'm gonna. I started. This is just to become a list show. We're not. <laughs> we're, Ed, not gonna, Ed, we're not going to talk about it. <laughs> Ed, Ed, and Eddie. We said that. No, one. I already said that. Oh, you did? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm just. I'm just so nostalgic right now. I didn't hear anything. <laughs> My next one was uh, Digimon Battles on the Playground. Um, the original Digimon uh, keychain games. Uh, it was part of the digital pet craze that Tamagotchi started. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh my god, those were intense. And like th- sometimes, like when it when it connect properly, and then like you lost your dude, like it just said you lost, even though you didn't actually do the battle. Those were infuriating. Oh, God I, damn, I love those. I've never played Digimon. Yeah, no, I chose to have friends in school, so I didn't play. <laughs> I had friends. <laughs> Digital I monster friends. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you would you would have had more friends if you played Pokemon. I played both, man. Yeah, I have I have nothing to say for Digimon. I, I remember the, the keychain <laughs> things, like especially like the yeah. Tamagotchi type deals. Those things were huge back in the day. I remember uh I remember I was in do you guys know what Pathmark is? I don't know if you guys have Pathmark in the West Coast. No. It's a supermarket. Um they had like the fucking things where you put the quarters in, you slide it and you slide it back and you get something, like a card. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. okay. Um I remember I was going for a haunter card. And I think I hit the wrong number because I'm, like, clearly dyslexic. And I pulled it out. I opened the thing all excited, like, and it was a fucking Digimon card. (laughs) I was pissed because I was, like, my only 50 cents. And I couldn't find my mom. And I was mad. (laughs) Okay. It's not on our list, but uh, do you guys remember pay phones and having to call your parents when you're ready to get picked up from the mall? Oh, man. Yeah. Like, and you you only had a dollar, and you're trying to go to every store. Like, can I have change for a dollar? And they're like, "Sorry, you have to buy something in order to get change." Like, screw that. So I, had, my parents got me a beeper. Oh God, I uh, never had one. It was a translucent blue Motorola beeper yeah. that they would just beat me whenever they wanted me home. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> kind of worked out. God, I don't remember that. that I, I, I don't. I, I've never had a beeper. Next one for me. I'm going to combine these two because they're both they're the Disney yeah, movies. Yeah, that were Disney movies. movies. Yeah. So Disney had their their channel, and then they started doing their own movies. D- Disney Channel original movies. There you go. That I couldn't remember the freaking name of it. So the two that I had to bring about were Brink and Johnny Tsunami. And right now I'm wearing my Team Pup and Sud shirt to oh, support dude. Brink because that that movie. I can't tell you how many times. I've watched this movie. This actually might be the movie where I told I might talk about next week. <laughs> I th- shout out to Tim Gettys, you know, skate better, living that motto for for your life. Always trying to do better. Always keep doing better, no matter how good you are at it. Just keep doing better. And then Johnny Tsunami, like kid who's you know surfing this whole life, and then he finally goes to snowboarding. And this is actually what got me into snowboarding. And Shang's son is his uncle, right? Yeah, <laughs> totally, totally canon. This is the prequel to Mortal Kombat. <laughs> no, it's a sequel. Like Shang Tsung's still alive. <laughs> he's like he's just happy <laughs> surfing on a beach somewhere. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Every time he did that, that shout out, it, it killed me. And then, dude, fucking Ed, Ed Boon, if you're listening to this, put Johnny Tsunami in the next Mortal Kombat, please, please do. <laughs> shout out to uh, he had the TV show, the famous Jet Jackson. It was uh, Lee Thomas Young. Oh, uh, yeah. He was awesome and unfortunately committed suicide. Yeah, um, that wasn't that long ago. No, not too long ago. Mm. Really, my mom loved him as a as an actor, but he was like one of those guys I would 
follow just to see what he was doing. And then even uh, Eric Von Detten, who played uh, Brink, I would follow, follow along just to see what he was doing. They didn't really do too much. He didn't do that much. Like no. He played showed up Sid. in like a couple small parts in movies. but Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, a lot of these Disney Channel actors didn't really do much afterwards. No. No, they, they no. all tried to get like a pop singing career going. Yeah, but. right. Uh, you left out the most important Disney original movie. What's that? Fucking Halloween Town. Oh my god, that's a great one. That's a great one. Door's over there. <laughs> Door is right there. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was a good one. I thought that was, that was an incredible. One. That's the best one. I, I don't think it's the best one. No, 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 no. You're forgetting oh under wrapped. Or under wraps. Yes, the that was mummy good. one. <laughs> I have a question. Dad. I can't remember if this is a Disney original movie. I just remember it played a lot. Um, Airborne. No, that wasn't a Disney original. Um, that is, to date, the only other rollerblading movie. Yeah. <laughs> yes. True. As someone who <laughs> aggressive rollerbladed for, you know, part it of the 2000s. It had Jack Black in it, man. It had Jack Black. Uh, it had a young... Um, isn't Seth Green in it, too? Yes, oh, Seth God, Green's in yeah. it. Yes. Yep. Back when um, yeah, having your hair down to, like, here was cool. <laughs> and I... Th- I think it was originally a Disney movie, but then um, somebody bought it out and it just became fucking massive. Uh, Hocus mm. Pocus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that was uh, it was going to be a Disney movie, but then they thought it was too risque, so they put it under Touchstone, which Disney Ooh. owns. Yeah. What, uh, was that? what was that movie that had the, um, the live house? The what? It had the live house. Oh, oh Smart House? Or Smart House, there it is. With, um, oh, yeah. With, uh, what's her name? Um, yeah. Futurama, Married with Children. Yeah, I can't remember I her name. Can't remember her name. But oh my god, that Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> yes, that movie creeped me out. Uh, it's not a Disney Channel movie, but Surf Ninjas. Surf Ninjas is kind of the epitome of the '90s. It has a young Rob Schneider, has Leslie Nielsen as the bad guy who's who might be Chinese. Um, it has Tone Loke. Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Yes. Wait, uh, what's it called? Surf, Surf Ninjas. Ninjas. I own this on DVD. Great. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> After yes. we're done recording, you need to watch the trailer. Because <laughs> that movie is amazing. I can't... I forgot about this movie. Like, that is the epitome of the night. no memory of this movie. Sega Game Gear is like a character in the movie. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm like, not joking. It's like I just picture a fucking Game Gear with like legs and arms. The um, <laughs> the one kid who played he was in uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles too. Uh, Ernie uh, Reyes Jr. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep, he played the pizza delivery boy. Shout out to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movies. God, mm. so good. Screw you, Michael Bay. Uh, since we're on the subject of Disney, I don't think this first one was Disney, but shout out to Street Sharks. Street no, it, was, it wasn't Disney, but no. yes. It was. And uh, Gargoyles. Yes. I forgot where those lived. I think they're on... F- Gargoyles Fox. was Disney. Okay. Was mm-hmm. Dude, they need to bring back Gargoyles. I'm surprised they haven't. I'm surprised Gargoyles there hasn't been a live action me, film. to me, was like Disney trying to make a Batman. Oh, yeah, 100%. Series. Yeah. It's like, we, we can't use the character Batman, but we can use the gargoyles he stands on. Right. What were the, um, what was the mo- the TV show that was kind of like, they were like, I think it was like Nickelodeon's answer to Street Sharks. It had like cats. Oh, um, fucking, oh, this just came up in a conversation like two weeks ago at work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cats? No, not the cats? musical. Not the not the music, but they were cats, right? Like SWAT cats or something like that. SWAT cats. Yes, oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, that wasn't Nickelodeon, was it? Was no it? SWAT cats. No, that wasn't Nickelodeon. I thought That's why I was like, I don't remember that. SWAT oh. cats was TBS. TB yeah. TBS was a lot around that. Wow. Yeah, that show was hard, man. <laughs> like they were Dude. radical. <laughs> so fucking uh, Wikipedia under the picture SWAT cats season two title card featuring T Bone Razor and the. <laughs> And the tur- Turbo Cat. Yep. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't read that. <laughs> Man. Oh, my goodness. 90s. Yeah, 90s. <laughs> Great stuff. Oh, it was a Hanna-Barbera production. Yep. Oh, well. Also, shout out to all the Hanna-Barbera stuff. Like, yeah, Scooby-Doo, Flintstones, Jetsons. Right, but 
Right, but those are like 60s, 70s. Shout out their 90s. There was a SWAT Cats SNES game. Yes, yeah. there was. Yes, there was. Fuck. Another thing I wanted to shout out, my next thing is uh, just ridiculous mix CDs. Mm-hmm. Like when yeah. you first learn how to make mix CDs oh God, and just Christ. putting the most random fucking shit on there. I made so much money doing that. Right, before you oh, knew yeah. how to actually string songs together. Right. Oh, dude. Like, no, these are all bangers. Like, every one of these songs are awesome. <laughs> like, Pokemon theme songs in there somewhere. Fuck yeah. And just, oh, God. Those are so, I still my, have some of them. I do too. My original ones didn't even really mostly have songs. I had, like, fucking, like, Jerky Boy skits and, like, mm. like weird E Bombs World fucking clips and stuff. It was random. Yeah. Like, uh, there was one thing. It was, like, this weird fucking clip. That I downloaded off like LimeWire or some shit of like, oh god, g- like a <laughs> like a gangster Elmo like shooting. <laughs> oh, Big Bird. I remember that. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh man, dude. So my CDs were filled with that kind of bullshit Hashtag for some 2000s. reason. Thousands, shit. <laughs> I okay, I'm cheating a little bit, but yeah. And like, um, I had a lot of songs off the South the South Park movie on there. Oh yeah, mm. good times. I remember I used to, whenever I took a shower. Um, I had a boombox in my bathroom, and I would fucking play the CDs and crank the boombox, which I still kind of do, but except with Bluetooth speaker, but so, not with not with skits and stuff. So back when I back in the nineties, for me, I didn't have a, like a portable CD player because uh, parents didn't have a lot of money. Uh, but we did have I did have like a tape player, cassette tape player, and so we had a like a whole thing where you could play CDs, and then you had the cassette like cassette deck, so you would record the um cd that's playing onto the onto it, the cassette, cassette yeah. oh yeah oh my god that was that's the, the janky ass thing i've ever done it was so you weird could probably make money doing that now probably yeah yeah i still have my mortal kombat cassette the soundtrack to the movie and i also have the space jam soundtrack mm. and oh uh, yeah i almost uh bought a uh toon squad jersey at hot topic the other day oh god i don't want one Space Jam. No one's ever going to get a movie. You, you get a Space Jam 2 with LeBron, it's not the same. You know, it, it won't be the same. Is LeBron still attached to that? I thought... I, I don't know. He was out. I don't fuck it. It's never going to happen, whatever. It's never going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So my next one is... Oregon motherfucking drill. Yes. Uh, Jesus. Uh, and my first experience with this... Actually, my only experience with the actual first game was at school. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. after you're done typing and shit on like Apple twos, yeah. you fucking pop in a big old 3.5 floppy of Oregon trail. That's a sentence. <laughs> that is a sentence. <laughs> 3.5 floppy. <laughs> Whoo. <laughs> God, I, I still love that game. Like if there was like a co-op online Oregon trail on PS4, I'd buy it in a heartbeat. Mm hmm. Or like you can just invite people to be part of your party, and basically you're just all hanging out, yeah, watching yeah. everyone die. I'm sure it'll happen. I, put the I, shit out of that. I died from falling off a ledge. <laughs> just random deaths. Uh oh, Jake has measles. <laughs> oh great. <laughs> oh boy, you gotta chop his leg off now. He might make it. So like, I, my biggest death wasn't dysentery. It was when you try to cock the river. Oh, you're like, no, I can do this. Yeah. I, I got this. Yep. Like, fuck, everyone drowns. <laughs> yeah, everyone drowns. I always loved, like, doing the hunting portion and just watching mm-hmm. the little bullet just travel slowly. Yep. Pew! <laughs> Guess what? You've never played it. Never played it. Oh, my God. My, I, I went, no, I know. So I went to a really fucking strict Catholic school, and, like, our uh, computer classes were, yeah, they weren't playing games with that kind of shit. Right. So, and at home, my only PC games at home were, um, like that when I was that young were uh, Kid Picks, which I fucking loved. I don't know if you guys know what Kid Picks is. Nope. It's I like don't remember it, the name. But... It's like a souped up like Microsoft Paint. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Lego Island. Yes. Oh man. Yeah. yeah. And uh, this really sick Hot Wheels racing game, where you just had like it was just time trials pretty much, and fucking backyard baseball. Yes. Yeah. And then eventually Sims and Roller Coaster Tycoon and stuff like that. Shout out to Lego Island where you can get the bicycle, the pizza yeah. bicycle, and th- throw toss pizzas. <laughs> so good. 
But yeah, my my school was like super conservative and stuff. They they weren't playing games. I tried to download shit like when I was like still didn't really know how to download shit. But yeah, my last one. This is what defined me as a kid. WWF. Freaking! This is how you mean the panda organization. Yeah, the panda organization, the one with the steel chair knocking out the other one. Mm, that's why they're that? extinct. Yeah, that's why they're extinct. You see that shirt? They're not extinct. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're, of course, called WWE now, but wrestling was, like, the one thing that I absolutely loved as a kid, and it got stupid, you know, later on in life. It still is stupid now, but I still watch it. Wrestling was the one thing that brought me and my uh, best friend in New York, shout out to Pete, and later we might hear from him. I was wearing a Bret the Hitman Hart shirt. It was just him, and he, he goes, you're you're Bret. You're a Bret Hitman Heart fan? I'm like, yeah, I love wrestling. And just like that, we were instantly best friends. We've been friends since I think I was in fourth grade. And then he uh, later in life, he helped me get a job at a credit union. That's where I started my banking life from. So we've been friends forever. Yeah, exactly. Making that money. Not making it now, but... <laughs> Aw. <laughs> Aw. Sad real life moment. And I knew it wasn't real. You know, they always had the storylines and all that stuff. But it was just its so fun seeing guys like Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels go against each other. And that Iron Man match is probably, like, one of, still one of my favorite matches of all time. It's just a great story to be had. And then you get so, Stone Cold it, Steve Austin later. It sucks for me because... Oh, poor you. <laughs> no, no, no. Not. I'm not going to, you know, say, like, no, I never watch wrestling like somebody's... I'm talking about this entire thing. Um, no, it sucks for me because my favorite wrestler, unfortunately, we now know is a racist. Mm. Oh, yeah. And uh, they're still talking about him coming back to WWE. Yeah, Hulk mm-hmm. Hogan. Yeah. Yeah. Hollywood Hogan, him and Sting. Oh, my God. All that shit. Yep. Uh, I, I will say I was never really a huge WCW fan, but I did. Appre- I, I, I still was one of those kids going, like, watching uh, Monday Night Raw. Then like okay, this is not a commercial. Let me see what WCW is doing, and then you know, like yeah, same here, forth, going back and forth so, between those. Yeah, so it's him and who is probably still one of my favorite. And I actually have a T-shirt, Macho Man Randy Savage. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, Zap to Slip Jim. <laughs> <laughs> that flying elbow drop, man. Bone saws ready. <laughs> <laughs> I got you for three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> cream of the crop <laughs> the cream they, they had like some of the best wrestlers back in the day they had like the dumbest gimmicks in the world but it was just a lot of fun it was, it was something like my whole family would watch and I just remember fond memories of like my mom taking me to my first uh, house show and for some reason Shawn Michaels had a moon in the crowd so I got to see Shawn Michaels ass so that was like the first time I've ever seen another dude's ass. That was nice, gross, gross and hairy. But then yeah. Stone Cold came out and gave him the Stone Cold Stunner. And I was like, "Thank you, thank you, good sir." R.I.P. Ass. That. I and just and then Rock, <laughs> of course, later on comes in. But I think that's like uh, late nineties. I think that had to be yeah, yeah very late nineties, early two thousand. Yeah, yeah. My favorite was um, Stone Cold always. Oh, of course. Yeah. Dude was just great on the mic, and you're always channing with him and he's always like you know studying like corporate and whatever always getting the back it's like yeah and then cracking open a beer that dude that dude i'm surprised he didn't have like liver disease probably I think he has an ipa up he does i hear <laughs> yeah. it's really good i i think it might be uh around here i think i think it's uh, uh, i'm not sure up. who brews it so shout out to brett the hitman heart Shawn michaels even though he was kind of a douche in his early years, but later on cleaned up. And then uh, Stone Cold. I think Stone Cold was my favorite as well. Oh, shit. Who am I thinking of? Uh, woo! Oh. Rick Flair, man. Look, Rick fucking Flair. Oh, man. <laughs> Dialing, <Woo>! profiling. <laughs> woo! His daughter wrestles right now, and she did. she's pretty good. Like a scene. Uh, Isn't there a but... biopic on him or something? Uh, Just came out. It's on I, Netflix, I think. That was I know Andre. Andre the yeah, Game just came out. The HBO. Yeah, that was on HBO. 
But I, I think something. Myself. I think something else came out on Ric Flair. I don't think it. I think it was uh, ESPN. Yes, it, it was. was like a six. It was like sixty minutes on Ric Flair. If for any listeners, if there's anybody who would like to discuss wrestling with me, hit me up. Let me know. Wrestling and Fortnite. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we get all the latest news. Uh, so, Mike, I think you have one thing you didn't talk about. Mm, the biggest thing. The biggest <laughs> little thing. Motherfucking hit clips. Fuck hit clips. Oh my god. Fuck them. I thought you could get the whole song on it, and like I, I hell had no. Smash Mouth's All Star. <laughs> like all right. And one it was minute always, of All Star. Dude, not even that. It was always like fucking twenty seconds of like pre-chorus, and it's like right at the ramp up at the chorus. That's it. Yep. Dude, I, I this thought this bullshit. was a great idea. I had so many of those stupid fucking things. Oh my god. I never made it past Smash Mouth. I was like, I can't get the whole song. I'm not doing this. I had a lot of Backstreet Boys, had a lot of NSYNC, had a lot of Britney, and then whatever the McDonald's ones were, because McDonald's did them too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I, I did not get into those because of the same reasons that, that you can't even have the whole song. Yeah. There's no point. I think hit clips are an integral part of my history with music and why I am an audio engineer. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know. That's, that's <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> I can't even fucking play that off. <laughs> that would be the greatest thing if it, it was like the real reason why you got into music. Those are like hit clips. They're just ahead of their time. No, no, they weren't. <laughs> yeah, they're like the 15 second Instagram stories before Instagram was a thing. <laughs> Except they charged you two dollars per fucking song that lasted thirty seconds to a minute. But here's the thing: people nowadays at least know. Let's give them the chorus. Let's give them the hook, and then they'll listen to the whole song. I mean, you know, they were just like a massive marketing tool because it's like, oh shit, oh. I want to hear the chorus. Let me buy the CD. Can't believe those lasted as long as they did. Yeah. I have nothing else to say about it. I just wanted to say hit clips. <laughs> <laughs> and Matt, with probably the most important one of all. Yeah, uh, but before I talk about that, I actually do have some news for you guys. Uh, I am engaged. Whoa! Whoa! Are you fucking serious? I'm dead serious. What? This isn't yep, part of the uh, night. Holy shit! You, you start with this happened. in the beginning episode. <laughs> you know, <laughs> happened last Wednesday, uh, and I proposed. Yeah. Wait, you so waited a fucking week. <sighs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Prick. We've been talking every goddamn I know, day. This is the blessed blessed. This is the best place to do it. <laughs> Hashtag blessed. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, dude. Congrats. That's a fucking incredible. Congratulations, man. Gosh. All right, back to the show. Come on. Okay. I don't care about the shit. Come on. I'm keeping that in. By the way. <laughs> Well, no, that was the point. Yeah, I know. Uh, but you should have put so that in the beginning. That's no, awesome. I wanted to bring it out of nowhere. Hell yeah, dude. Um, <laughs> so, yes, obviously the biggest thing to come out of the 90s, even though all this stuff was influ- influential on us, it, this could be argued as the worst thing to come out of the 90s because of how Screw much that. it's ruining our lives now. Or at least our children, or not our children, but our use. Um, Matt's future child, because he's engaged. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh! Yay! Uh, yeah, no. Uh, fucking shout out to AOL. Shout out to fucking Earthlink. <laughs> shout uh, out to getting the discs in the mail. Jesus <laughs> fucking trial. Christ. All, all shout out for not being able to use the phone and the internet at the same time. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you call someone, you knew they were on the internet. <laughs> Mom, get off the phone! <laughs> Mom! Shout out to fucking uh, Chex Quest. That also yes! Had, that was one of the AOL discs. Same with, uh, there was Earthworm Jim. Mm-hmm. that had AOL on it. Fuck. Fuck AOL. <laughs> Just fuck AOL. <laughs> my mom's, my mother still has AOL, like the desktop app installed on her laptop. Because oh. <laughs> that's still a fucking thing. And they they still ask you they still ask you for money. What I know I, I had to get my mom off of AOL. It's crazy. Yeah, he's such a uh, genius fucking ago. thing. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, there's so much you can say about the internet, yeah, especially no, like first starting out. But yeah. uh, specifically like e bombs, new grounds. Mm, yes. 
Um, Newgrounds, oh my god. So Newgrounds, yes. And I was part of the animators who were on there in the early days. Yeah. E-bombs, the dude fucking stole shit from around true. there. True. Very true. Credited. Mm-hmm. So, fuck that guy. Um, fucking video game related, Cheat CC. You ever use that website? Oh, oh of course. man. Of course. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> that was my fucking main thing. I wanted the game shark codes for my Pokemon games. Dude, yep. I needed I needed the codes for Grand Theft Auto. Yep, mm-hmm. GTA. GTA, yep. That became fucking muscle memory. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Like, oh my god, I'm almost out of health. L1, R1, L2, L2, up down, left right. Yeah, up down, left, 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 right. <laughs> Damn, the fucking Great. glory days. Oh, yeah. Man. It's like, I didn't need game guides, I just needed cheat CC. And oh the, shit, shout out to game guides. Oh yeah. God. The uh, the sense of achievement that you feel, or the sense of pride that you feel for your little yellow LOL man reaching the third oh box. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> <Burr. Burr. laughs> oh my god! And when it gets interrupted, and you have to do it all over again. Uh. Mom! <laughs> <laughs> I was almost there. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking AOL keywords. <laughs> you can, you can, AOL it, chat rooms. AOL chat oh man! Oh, the, oh I remember. Oh. AOL Yo, chat ASL. Rooms. Oh. <laughs> uh-huh. Fucking time. lie! Oh, I always yeah, love going. Mail, in, like, always you lying. got mail. Welcome. You got mail. It's like yes. Thanks. Yeah, and you go to look and just like nothing good. You're like, oh. AOL, my first platform for discovering porn because I got like so many spam emails and shit, and I clicked through one of them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it was on my because back in the day, like I didn't have my own email account. Right. Like yes. early on, yeah. So I found. I don't it through... want you to say what year because I don't want it. <laughs> nah, I mean, whatever. I don't know. I fucking remember. <laughs> but I mean, like when we first got it, I just shared my mom's, shared my mom's and my dad's, um, and then eventually I learned how to make my own. I just did my own. But yeah, I clicked through a spam thing in my parents' fucking email account, and sure enough, yep. Like so, uh, funnily enough, um, Shibs um, was well, Shibs was taken. On AOL, Best but Mr. Thing. Shibs was my AOL screen name all those years ago. So that has literally stuck with me my entire nice. tenure on the internet. Nice. Mine were fucking ridiculous. I oh, my my first one was Redman six five zero. I don't know why. I, it was supposed to be like a. <laughs> I think it was supposed to be like a devil thing. Dude, but I'm when like, I was in when I was in the chat rooms, people thought I was Redman <laughs> the rapper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I did Redman because of the rapper. Um, you were Redman too. I I did like there was one of them that was like Red Man something. Really? Uh, yes. That's wow. why that's why we're friends. I know. <laughs> Except mine was for the rapper. Yours was. <laughs> that was a punk rock kid, devil. Um, I had and then eventually in high school when fucking emo phase starts to kick in with the X's and whatnot. So oh, capital X, lowercase X, misfit spelled like M Y Z F one T X, lowercase X. I'm so cool, man. I was like, Misfit. I remember doing oh. uh, my AOL uh, Instant Messenger as there was a one of the episodes. I can't remember what, what the heck was it called with Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. X play. X play. X play. Yes. And she Morgan was like talking about Resident Evil Nemesis, but she would call it call the creature Nemesis. So I <laughs> named my AOL Instant Messenger Nemesis, and everyone's like, "You spelled Nemesis wrong." I'm like, oh, of course. Yeah, of course. The birth of so. the trolls. Right, um, Jesus. I guess shout also out to Mark and Web. Shout out to G Four. Yes. Shout out to X Play, man. Dude, <sighs> great show. Even like the weirder uh, G Four shows, like Cheaters, <laughs> had nothing to do with video games. They just <laughs> shout out to Code Monkeys. Code Monkeys, fuck yeah. I know it's not '90s, but man, A- Attack of the Show. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Oh, uh, what was the show that was kind of like a top ten? Uh. Oh crap! What was it? like? It would just like it would pick a topic. There was no talking or anything. It would just go through videos of games and stuff like that. Uh, uh, I don't know. I can't, I can't remember. remember. I really like that one though. Talk about David Letterman's segment about top tens. No. <laughs> <laughs> so the nineties, great times. We Good have times. great people. We have also great people who wrote into us that loved the nineties as well. Such as Peter Borowski, who loved the ABC TGIF Friday Night lineup. Which TGIF. I, I looked up that lineup, and I forgot how many great shows were. We had actually. Sabrina. We had Boy Meets World. Um, Family Matters. 
Mm. Family matters, man. I never watched this one, but Perfect Strangers was on there. With, I think uh, that was an earlier one. Mm-hmm. Step by Step. Step Full by house. Step. Patrick Duffy. <laughs> Hanging with Mr. Cooper. Hanging with Mr. Cooper. Dude, the dinosaurs were on there. Oh, man. Oh, dinosaurs. my God. The dinosaurs. Like, th- there was no specific shows, but even uh, later on, Muppets Tonight. Fuck yes. Oh, Muppets <sighs> Tonight. Such, such good shows. They, we had no right getting all these great shows. And Greg, these weren't part of that lineup, but these, this is just reminding me of other shows like fucking Fresh Prince, Seinfeld, <laughs> Friends. Uh, uh. Um, Smart Guy, I think, is what I'm trying to think of. With, uh, uh, with um, Taj he, Mori. TJ. Taj Mori. Yeah. yeah. He's a smart guy. Sister, sister. Sister, sister. Yes. Yeah. All related in real life. The sisters in TJ Mark. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I understood. <laughs> Thank you, Snapple Facts. It's related to the TV show in real life. <laughs> They're all related. <laughs> Didn't they have a crossover at one point? Uh, I can't remember if they did or not. Maybe. Uh, unless they were just, unless they just guest starred on or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ashley Perez said Bobby's World. That was a trip of a show, man. That was, Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, oh god that reminded me of life with louis oh yeah god. they're both pretty much the same thing yeah yeah that was the whole uh wb's whole lineup also like bobby's world life with louis animaniacs mm-hmm. animaniacs yeah man uh, freakazoid freakazoid pinky static and shock <laughs> pinky in the brain yeah Maybe pinky in the brain was that yeah uh, oh. uh tiny tune adventures Tiny Toon Adventures. Oh, my God. One of my favorite fucking, was it SNES or NES games? SNES. 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 Uh, Buster Bust yeah. Loose. Yeah. Yep. Fuck. Great. <laughs> so hard. <laughs> it was. Oh, yeah. It was. Didn't Animaniacs have a game as well? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. probably. Dave Ardito said Batman the Animated Series. Of course. Great stuff. Also, it was, it was probably 2000s, but shout out to Batman Beyond. Yes. Yes. Just, I feel like that was late 90s? Could have been. I, I think it was late 90s as well. Because Batman in the animated series actually ended pretty early. Like yeah, 95. it was only like, yeah. It was only a few seasons. Yeah. yeah. Ridiculous. That show needs to keep going. And then, Mike, I think you're going to read off the next yeah, one. Yeah, uh, Kyle Stevenson has a fucking awesome list. Uh, Rocco's Modern Life, Space Jam, the Nickelodeon game shows, in parentheses, Guts, Legends of the Hidden Temple, Nick Arcade, Double Bear. <laughs> uh disney original movies tgif block of programming nba motherfucking jam tony hawk motherfucking pro skater motherfucking dungaroos and shout out to the spice girls i had the biggest crush on them true this story it. ginger spice was always my favorite i don't know if it's just we had the redhead connection but uh-huh. yeah right right now i'm staring at the gift that kyle included in this tweet and it's just ginger staring at me so seductively right that girl that girl was spicy spice world super spice. underrated movie <laughs> laugh all you want i'm not i'm not joking that, sh- that movie was actually bad but it was it was, nah, it was great it was good and then billy laporta said dunkaroos great snack and then hey arnold was the jam quick side note you could amazon dunkaroos i did that like two mm-hmm. months ago <laughs> uh, my butt my buddy's uh bachelor party his uh fiance actually made the dip uh, for dunkaroos and he like great she, she made a whole thing of it and i was i ate the whole thing because i'm fat nice that's the 90s kids i'm sorry if you didn't grow up in that time so i was talking to one of my employees earlier and it was just the 90s came up he was like yeah i lived in the 90s and i was like when the fuck were you born he was like 98 i was like fuck off no, you didn't no, live in the 90s. Live 90s no the hell out it's of like here. i was it's like I was me saying in, i'm an 80s kid yeah. right i was born in 88 no i'm not an 80s kid i was a 90s kid <laughs> although i I did have very much animosity towards anyone who was born in the 90s. 91! Yeah. Yeah. That's why we hate Mike so much. We do hate him. So, guys, what are you guys looking forward to for the upcoming week? What do you have plans to play? Uh, I'm seeing Deadpool 2 tomorrow. Very excited about that. Yes. Uh, I'm going to continue. I fell off of it for a while, but I'm going to continue reading Invincible. I finally started it. I had the first Omnibus for, like fucking years and i finally busted it open um 
I felt like it was a good time because I'm starting just to save money. I'm starting to kind of cut off, cut down on my um, pull list for comics. Um, quick shout out to Batman White Knight by Sean Ger- Sean Gordon Murphy. No, whatever. Sean Murphy. I can't think of his last name. <laughs> uh, middle name. Uh, fucking awesome. Uh, just side Batman story that has nothing to do with continuity right now. It's it pretty much plays. Batman being the villain of Gotham and Joker slash Jack Napier being the white knight, like the good guy. Uh, it's very interesting. Very cool. Um, and hopefully tomorrow we get this Pokemon. Let's go Pikachu. Let's go Eevee announcement because if history wants to repeat itself last time, Nintendo, uh, trademarked sun and moon the day after we got the announcement. So maybe I'll do a yeah, one off of me freaking the fuck like out. There was going to be like a Nintendo direct. They just said the announcement coming at the towards the end of May. Right. So we'll see. I'm hopeful. Here's hoping. Um, and then this weekend, I have to work this cool thing at work um, at my job where a bunch of high school kids have 24 hours to um to make a film. So I work on Friday from like 4 p.m. to midnight, and I'm just gonna chill here because we pretty much just set up we set up like a living room in our big space, and I bring my PS4. I'm gonna bring my Switch. We just kind of hang out, play video games, go play a lot of Jackbox, play a lot of Mario Kart. Um, nice. And then in between that, on Saturday during the day, I'm going to force my mom to get a tattoo for Mother's Day. Nice. Which, which already passed, but you know, whatever. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Better I'm late a, than never. I'm an okay son. Yeah. That's all you got to strive for. Just be okay. But yeah, no, the big things are Deadpool and Invincible for me. Yes. Uh, Invincible is going to be a great read. I loved Invincible. Yeah, I'm on issue like 46 right now. It's, uh, it's so fucking good. Yeah. I want to go back and read those. I, I, I fell off after, like, in the early 100s. Mm. I need to go back and reread them because it, it was getting really good. Yeah, and I mean, Kirkman just knows how to write. Because yeah. I, I still read. I'm all caught up with Walking Dead. I'm all mm-hmm. caught up with Outcast. Both of them are still fucking fantastic. I started Oblivion Song, but um, I might not continue it because I think it's just that's three books that are kind of like post-apocalyptic kind of shit. Yeah. So. I'll that's see. I, I might read it as a trade. We'll see. Yeah, that's why I loved Invincible because it was like a good break from the. Oh yeah, zombie. it's different. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Deadpool two for me, and then pff, I'm trying to get the platinum for Persona five. Working. Oh, back I thought you were gonna game. say God of War. <laughs> Give- that too. I'm I'm juggling both, but. <laughs> um, for me, uh, Wizard of Legend. How is that? Uh, that game is awesome. So the, what the screensh- is it? <laughs> the screenshot that you sent was weird. Well, right, like that item was just a random drop. Um, it's kind of like it's like a dungeon crawler, uh, top-down perspective, um, and you're going through like these. Uh, I forget what it's called, but it's like kind of like trials, basically. Um, so you go through two stages, and then you have a boss fight. It's really hard. Um, but there's, I actually wrote it down, there is a lot of spells, so you have four different spells that you can use, uh, when you go into it, uh, each time, uh, so there are 128 spells, 144 relics, and 11 robes, um, so there's five different elements for spells, but you're basically just trying to chain all these things for combos, uh, in each level, like, you can find, like, a shop guy that you can get health or you can get a new spell, stuff like that. Um, but you have different currencies. So while you're in the dungeon run, you have gold. Uh, you don't really get to take that outside. So, like, if you die or if you go through the dungeon, uh, your gold is going to reset next time you go in. Or you have crystals that you can use in the hub world to buy and permanently keep the spells. Because if you're in the dungeon and you get a spell, you only get to keep it while you're in the dungeon. Uh, so you're kind of like testing out new spells and stuff like that. It's kind of pseudo roguish, in that sense. A little bit, a little bit. Um, but it no, it's just a ton of fun. Like you have to be on your toes, dodging, attacking. It's so you know, kind of like Dark Souls. Yeah. And you're playing on Switch. Yes. Sick. Um, there is co-op, but it's only local. Hmm. That's fine. But yeah, no, it's it's a lot of fun. Um, so I'm gonna be playing that. Um. Some more God of War. Um, Alice family is here uh, Friday and Saturday. So I'm going to be spending most of the weekend with them. Who's that? Hmm? Who? 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 Al. Who? Yeah, who's that? Al. Al, the fiance. Oh, the fiance! Oh, the fiance! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! 
but yeah, so hang out with her family this weekend. Um, I forgot Deadpool 2 was this weekend, so... Already. Go see that. Yeah. yeah. Got good reviews. From yeah. Uh, yeah. from Thanos himself and uh, Wolverine. <laughs> Did you see that poster? No. It's got snippets from, like, Th- it says Thanos, like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then one from Wolverine. That, and that then, video um, from uh, Hugh Jackman was hilarious. Since um, everyone's giving uh, solo good reviews, I've talked down to going to see it uh, when it comes out. Nice. Yeah. yeah. I'm so. actually pretty fucking excited for Solo. I'm still not getting my hopes up, which Me I like to do for any yeah. movie. Just because, like, if it is great, like, I like it that much more because of that. Mm-hmm. I mean, for me, there's still the magic of going to see a Star Wars movie opening well, night. Well, no doubt. You know, so yeah. I'm just excited to get into that vibe at Alamo that night and just yeah. feel that fucking crazy, undescribable energy mm-hmm. of that room. Yeah. There's talks about a uh, Lando. Lando. Yeah. Lando movie. That's I was going to say a Lando solo movie. <laughs> they need to bring <laughs> Lando into the new trilogy. God. Bring yeah. God Billy D back, man. Right. I feel like they have to at this point. Can we even get Wedge back? Like, nice no, dead. Where's Where's Wedge? Wedge is dead. I think so. That's why the dude from uh, Heroes had that like role in uh, Force Awakens. He was like the new Wedge. Yeah, and no, he was the new Porkins. Oh, I'm. Yep, you're right. Yeah, yeah. ignore me. Yeah. <laughs> Throwing the was mic it away. Biggs or Wedge that was still alive? Wedge. Biggs died. Biggs is dead. Yeah, no, the actor actually plays Wedge, said he didn't want to come back. Mm. No, he wasn't asked. No, he was. Was he? He actually, he, he said he didn't want to come back to it. Oh, he sucks then. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. That's been this week's main course. Thank you all for listening. Uh, if you want to follow us on Twitter, we're at 3BF Podcast and also on Instagram. And you can sub to us on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, and YouTube. And once we get to 100 subscribers on YouTube, we can get a custom link instead of this random ass crap that we have currently. We should just make our custom link the exact sequence of letters and numbers that our thing is right now. Yeah, please. Yeah, we're just going to keep it the same. So if you get us to 100 subscribers, nothing's going to change. So thanks. <laughs> and that's a promise. <laughs> that's, a, that's a promise. This is a garbage just garbage show so it's like it's gonna stay garbage <laughs> <laughs> if you guys have any questions or feedback send it to three best friends podcast at gmail.com i've been jacob palmer you can find me at jake p47 on twitter twitch uh instagram give us a follow mike where we can find you where can we yeah mike where can we <laughs> words <laughs> words i hate words uh, you can find me at Tedro1214. That's T E E D R O 1214. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, PlayStation, Xbox, all that fun stuff. Uh, and also my audio stuff uh, at Mike Tandro underscore audio on Instagram. I post a lot of cool music stuff. Matt. You can find me at Shibs42 on Twitter and Instagram. That's about it. Mike. Yes. Hit the music. I'm just going to do 15 second hit clips version. <laughs> oh, <Jesus. laughs> Bye. Bye.